So my um, second talk was about uh, self-inflicted alopecias, and I've, I decided to um, speak about not only uh, psychotrichological disorders, uh, namely trichotillomania, trichotemnomania, and uh, self-inflicted injurious behavior, but I've also talked a little bit about traction alopecia. I tried with my talk to highlight the main uh, clinical aspects and uh, the main findings that you can use with trichoscopy uh, to find some clues to the diagnosis, but I also tried with my talk to um, um, pay attention or to call to attention that some of these cases need to be better defined also with the clinical history. So um, I would cite a work of Adriana Rakowska and Lydia Rudnika, where they, when they firstly described the specific signs of V hairs and flame hairs in trichotillomania, they said that we may use a tri uh, derm dermoscope to do trichoscopy, but we should never forget uh, that clinical history is also very important for the diagnosis. Uh, the treatment may be challenging of these patients, and basically when you have traction alopecia, you have to instruct the patient to stop.